All right, so this is part three of week five. We're moving on to the advanced part, and I hope that you guys are going to learn something really fun and new. It is required for you to already know how to create a sparkly flat sequence. So you have to have all these components. Otherwise, this episode will not work for you. So if you have no idea how to do this, watch episode one of week five and watch episode two of week five and then come back. In the meantime, if you already know this and you're just like, come on, let's do it. Have something interesting scanned, like maybe a gold foil or silver or something like that metallics and I have something in this file here. So these are all little JPEGs that I found somewhere. So I'm going to select them and copy them and I'm going to click here and just paste them and they are bigger than my sequence. So that's good because I'm going to lazily grab them and notice how these files are embedded. So when you go to file place, for example, and bring in a file, make sure that it's embedded. So unembedded, mm, that would mean I would have to save it somewhere. Oi, oi, oi. I'm going to stop this process. If it has an X through the file, it's unembedded. So you want to just click on it and embed it. And you should be good. So I'm going to just drop it in here in my swatches. So Windows swatches. And you can see how I already did it for all these. And I'm going to just go ahead. I don't need them anymore. Delete them. Delete, delete, delete. And what we're going to do next is just select this sequence. And delete this no fill no stroke box that I created for an overlap brush. Bring your fill to the front and I'm going to click on this first one. Now when I said lazy I meant that um, they are not a perfect repeat so you will see some lines on some of these or maybe it looks even flat because it looks like there's just one image in it. So we learned in one of the weeks I believe week three, the tilde key rotating fabric inside of the garments. So look that up. But what we need to do is just take your direct selection tool and press the tilde key. And then what happens is we can just grab the inside. So without tilde, I'm moving the object, right? But if I press down tilde, you can see how I'm moving the actual swatch around and see how there's no clean repeat. So we don't want any lines. Okay, so you can just move that inside of it. And when you're happy, you can leave it. That's my first um, sequence. And I also wanted to advise you guys that we can put a real hole into the sequence. Right now I faked it in video one and video two. So what we can do is select this. And then with this nifty tool called Shape Builder, we just hover over the center and we press Option. So it's minus. So we're going to take this away. So now watch this if I just select this whole component and move it over here. You can see how it's see-through. Okay. It's not white. It's not fake. All right. I like to create a little bit of variety if I'm going to go through all this work, right? So I'm just going to click and option drag to make a copy. And for this one, I'm going to fill it with the next sparkly color. That's kind of perfect. Actually, there's no lines in here. So I'm going to do this one more time. Option drag to make another copy and then Take another one. Oh, this looks good. I like it. All right. So then for all of these, I'm going to just move some of this out of the way. Okay. Some leftovers. Fine. And go ahead and group these. Command G or Control and G for PC users. So there we go. And select them all. And then we can make them jump into place. Oh, no, they were not grouped. And here we go. Let's group that. Let's check this. Grouped, grouped, grouped. Yes. Select. Align. Space out. And then I also want to click on this black bar right here and pick maybe a different color. Maybe something like this. So what I do then is kind of um, create a overlap manually. And if I want this to look more realistic, I can select them all option drags have three of these and then maybe just rotate some of these out so then we have a variation in color and um, for the one that I'm giving you guys in the free member download um, you can actually see that I went in here and I I went in here with tilde and made these all look a lot more different from each other okay then the only thing that I did after that is just kind of take my pen tool and created a line here so I wanted to make sure 
that there's like some thread looking thing going through. Maybe move this up a bit. I wanted the, the left and the right to be on the same level, these two anchor points. And then with my add anchor point tool, I can just add some points and add some interest here because we all know that the thread is not going to go as straight as this line. So we can just add an anchor point by clicking on it with the add anchor point tool and maybe move the line up and down just kind of as if there's a movement there. We can make this line a little bit thicker in our stroke palette and we're going to make the cap round. So something like this. Now, all this hard work, will Illustrator take this, grab it, drop it into our brushes and we're going to make a pattern brush and it says the selected artwork contains an element that cannot be used in the pattern brush. What? <laughs> okay. This is where it's complicated for Illustrator to render two effects. So you have the brush effect and inside of the brush effect you have the print effect, right? So we're going to just flatten this. But before we flatten this, I want to make sure that I like it. Yeah, I think I do. So I'm going to select this all. So we're going to just go to Object and Rasterize. And in here what's really important is that all the surrounding areas are going to be transparent. Um, I'm going to check medium resolution, so that's the quality. I don't want it to look too pixelated and I don't want it to drag my processing power. So let's leave it at that. And then let's check if those buttonholes, yep, I mean the sequence holes are still transparent. Now let's do something really quick. If I just drag this in here and make a pattern brush without defining the overlap for all of it, there's going to be a gap in between. And that's not what we want. And it's this thread right here with this thread right there that's creating this gap. But I want this last sequence to actually overlap over the first one. So we need to, once again, create a box. And I did this with my shortcut. You can go to Object, Arrange, Center Back, Shift, Control, Open Brackets, or Shift, Command, Open Brackets. Then I just select the object with the no fill, no stroke box, drag it into my brushes, create a pattern brush, and there it is. It works because we rasterized the image and Illustrator will understand this. Click here, adjust it, and you're done. Okay, so once we have that fun stuff going on, um, notice that when we take our fancy brush that is vector into our recolor artwork, how quickly we can recolor our artwork right in here. You can see that and it creates a new brush and a new colorway for us and I say okay but it doesn't do this it only sees one color here which is the thread because that's vector no that's not even true that was also rasterized so it doesn't change the color so how do we do it well you can take your original brush out which is really cool so you just click and drag pull it out take your direct selection tool because I don't want to touch the overlap box that's still here you guys see that I just clicked and dragged this no fill, no stroke box. So I'm going to click on the artwork and then we're going to go to different place. We're going to go to edit, edit colors, adjust color balance. We're going to press preview and convert. And then here you go. Now you can create some really fun stuff. I'm just going to say, okay. Once you recolor it, please switch to your selection tool. Make sure that you select both. This should be grouped. If not, just click and drag. So. If not, just check that visually you have the no fill, no stroke box also, and then grab it in here, manually create a new pattern brush, just press OK. And then I'm going to option drag or alt drag and then just test my new colorway. All right, that's it. I hope you made it all the way through one, two, three. Um, come back next week. If you have any questions for me, leave it in the comment section. I hope you like this video. Give me thumbs up, subscribe, download the file at Fashion Chalkboard in the free member area. If you create something beautiful with this, um, I did some sparkle tops with this right here. Please hashtag send me some photos on Instagram. Fashion Flat Sketch 52. That's our Instagram hashtag. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye.